Oh, good okay. If you have your air in cupboard or a warm area all the time, that's fine. I don't. Which means I've given up with my um, experiment of having it in the iron cupboard and trying to use ambient temperature because it's not working. It just goes on a go slow. So what I'm going to do... Ba -ba 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 -ba, is I went out and I got some turbo yeast, turbo carbon and findings. For the sake of seven quid for the triple pack, it means it'll only take a few days. So what else I bought, to make it a lot cheaper, is this. Now this is a Pico immersion heater. Now these things you can buy in fish shops, you know, for like fish tanks or from your brewing supply shop. I see them advertised for about 20 quid, but they're always out of stock. So that could just be a scam advert. You know, but they just say it's cheap, but they don't actually have anything. This one cost me 36 pound down in uh, Barstable. It's preset at 24 Celsius. It does have an adjuster, so you can change it to 30 odd. Now, by the time I put in my carbon, See, it's, it's still kind of working, but it's so slow. Really slow. So what you can do, you basically take this, plonk it down through your hole, which I'm gonna to have to make it a little bit wider for it to fit. That goes down into your hole, to here. You plug it in the mains, and that's it. It will keep it nice and warm. There's also a hole here, where you can put your breathe tube in. So I can go in there. Bring out the breathe tube airlock thing. It's only really needed if you've got bugs or if you're actually worried about something crawling into it. I mean, you can do um, a wash and leave the, the, the lid off and it'll still ferment on its own. It depends what sort of an environment you live in. If you've got like a cold environment or if you've got bugs or contaminants floating around like leaves. So that's going to go in next. And um, do you want to think where to put the bucket? Because there's no power sockets out here. Possibly in the kitchen. Another way to make it a bit cheaper. I worked it out. It's a 100 watt thingy. Immersion heater, which means it's going to cost me, from what I can gather, it's really hard to find out how much electric costs in this country. America's con America controls all the power supply for England, and um, it's hard to find out the exact amount, but it's roughly 35p per kilowatt, which means that for a 100 watt thing, it's going to, that's 2.4 uh, kilowatts a day over three days to do a carbon turbo yeasted thing. So we're talking about maybe three or four quid, five quid at the most to actually do it. I've been trying to cost up how much it costs to actually make all this. Price of sugar has gone up again. So it's going to cost about um, six pound 60 to do a 25 litre wash. The carbon stuff is about seven quid, so it's 13 plus electric, uh, which makes it 20 plus the electric to run the air still, which puts it up to about 25 pound, which would give me roughly seven liters of 40% alcohol. So we're still only talking a few quid per liter of nice homemade spirits. And I know exactly what has gone into the bloody stuff as opposed to the crap you buy in supermarkets where you've got no idea what toxins they put in. So yeah, immersion heater. Just needs to make the hole a bit bigger. Fortunately, I've got two of these buckets. So what I might do is get the spare lid, the spare bucket, and just make the hole wider on the spare lid rather than leaving this open.